just make the point that uh, what the, the challenge we face uh, in the region is uh, when we're modernizing uh, value chains is that you got to have you, different value chains uh, fit different kinds of markets. Uh, traditionally, uh, we have had uh, cereal grains being produced primarily or fish and so on for local markets uh, where the demands of quality, standardization, etc., have not been very high. Um, and we have had very long uh, value chain, lots of actors. Uh, I think uh, Dr. Tan uh, pointed out uh, that 70 odd percent of Vietnamese rice, uh, it, it does not go directly from the producer to the markets, uh, but it goes through lots of different uh, stages. And, and that is a a common uh, characteristic of traditional uh, low value uh, uh, marketing chains, uh, value chains where uh, you produce things uh, where the markets are not very sophisticated, the product uh, does not require a lot of sophisticated uh, modern <coughs> processing, uh, etc., and it transported lots of links in the chain. And at each link, uh, you incur some costs. Uh, there are delays, time delays, but it doesn't matter because uh, we are producing some things which are either not perishable easily, something like rice, or if it is perishable, something like fish, we just make sure that we try and get it to the local market as quickly as possible and dispose of it. The issues of storage and processing are relatively less important. So uh, I borrowed this uh, figure from a, from a book. Uh, uh, just three different uh, kinds of systems uh, targeting three different kinds of markets. Uh, low income market, primarily local, somewhat high income market, also primarily local, all the way to an export market. Uh, and if you note, even in the export market, there are lots of large integrated uh, producers, but there are also small, medium uh, producers, but they all supply and get lots of uh, value and uh, uh, value from what they export. Uh, so the challenge is really uh, that we need to shift the marketing systems from basically A type markets to more and more B and increasingly C as well, high value added uh, markets. Now, uh, in conversation, uh, Professor Nishimura made the point to me, uh, which is very important and which I, I, I note in that previous day, that a lot of high value markets, while there are economies of scale uh, in many operations and many uh, uh, products, you can also have a lot of diseconomies of scale, where small producers actually have a huge advantage in particular niche markets. There are market niches at the top end of the value chain uh, where a small producer producing a very high quality uh, product, but integrated with a, with a modern supply chain could produce something where the origins are certified, uh, geographical dimensions, uh, where it is produced, how it is produced, under what conditions it's produced, all the way, and then it could end up in a very high value added market in, in some shelves uh, somewhere. Uh, you know, the first time I went to Japan, I was amazed that I went to a supermarket and I saw melon, lots of melons for 500 uh, yen per melon, and then there was a melon sitting there which was 24,000 yen. And I thought, something wrong with this. You know, what's the difference? I couldn't even tell the difference looking at it. And then there's a picture of the farmer who grew that, uh, the awards that this uh, farmer had won, uh, and people are willing to pay for that kind of quality. I mean, you're more familiar with that in the context of wine, where tiny farmers with, uh, with, with a hectare of land are some of the richest in the world.